where I think her calmness is really to her benefit, to our team's benefit. So, you know, I don't know. We just have to see how she does in this competition. Obviously, she's uh, a performer that we have to have tuned in in order to be able to win this SEC title. She certainly looks tuned in right there, but Christy sprained her ankle last week against Denver, and they weren't even sure she was going to compete here. Yesterday at practice, it was quite swollen. You see it's taped up heavily. She will be not to hold back. She has to go 100% for everything. She looks fine on that opening pass. Put her a little earlier in the rotation than they may have otherwise. Christy Litchie so far rock solid. You can see that ankle taped up, both of them, in fact. Performing to the Georgia fight song. That may be a reason why she's early in the lineup, trying to get the Georgia crowd that are here into this competition and really cheering them on. The athlete that preceded her, Talia Vexler, you called her the rock, an uncharacteristic uh, little hitch in the program for Talia, scoring a 9.6, had a deduction for out of bounds. They need a good score from Christie and all of the Georgia Gym Dogs that follow. And she has a top last pass. A double back at the D level skill, performed at the end of the routine. Big difficulty and not a problem, even with a sprained ankle. But Christy Litchie finishes up with what looked to us like a pretty good routine. Suzanne Yocklin and her teammates like it, and it's a 